Welcome to NativeLang.com's course on using the IPA to help you with pronunciation in a foreign language, or any language you're learning. When we talk about vowels in the context of IPA or phonetics, we don't tend to say things like the letter A or the letter U or the vowel U even. Instead, we break down vowels by their features, and features are kind of like the component parts of vowels. Each vowel has multiple features. The first of these features is vowel height. If you want to think about it anatomically, you can distinguish different vowel heights by considering the position of your jaw when you make a certain vowel sound. For instance, when I make the open sound ah, my jaw is in a different position than it is when I say the close vowel e. So my jaw opens up between e and ah. You can also relate height to how close your tongue is to the roof of your mouth. It's closer when you say the sound e than it is when you say ah. We can distinguish open, mid, and close vowels. Backness is the other feature we should distinguish at this point. Backness involves instead what we can think of as how far forward and how far back our tongue is in our mouth. That's the anatomical way of thinking about it. So if you again say the vowel E, your tongue is fairly far forward in your mouth. But if you say A, ah, you pull it back. So that's the feature backness. We can distinguish three levels of backness. The first one is going to be back, the second one is central, and the third is front. Using those two features, backness and height, we can lay vowels out on a table, with the x-axis being backness and the y-axis being height. This will allow you to lay out all of your basic vowels on a chart and to be able to pronounce them in relation to each other. Let's take a look at one of those charts and I'll pronounce the sounds for you. E, 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 A, 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 O, U, O, O, A, 